Welcome to our tutorial about using the Linear Pattern Tool. In my graphic area, I've got a plate with a cylindrical hole in one corner. Let's select the Linear Pattern Tool. First thing to do is select the features we're going to pattern. We can select the features right in the graphic area, or we can select them from the Feature Manager design tree. Next, I select the direction to pattern. I'm going to select this edge here. Number of instances, let's say four. And the distance, 20 millimeters. Tab to register. For direction two, I'll select this edge. The number of instances, three. And the distance for this example, 15 millimeters. Tab. And let's reverse the pattern direction here. Now watch what happens. The diameter of the hole is 15 millimeters. The distance between the centers of the holes is also 15 millimeters. So if I click OK right now, I'm going to get an error. The reason for this is that I end up with zero thickness geometry, and that just doesn't work out in this context. We're going to change that value. Let's make it 20 millimeters, let's say. Tab to register. And here's our linear pattern. Let's right click and select Edit. I'm going to scroll down and take a look at some of the other options here. Let's expand the Instances to Skip option. We select those instances right in the graphic area with a left click on that magenta dot. And let's click OK. Now right click on our linear pattern and edit it once more. To deselect an instance to skip, you can delete it right from the Property Manager. Right click and select Delete. Or you can click on the orange dot right in the graphic area and the instance is restored. Down below is the Instances to Vary option. We're going to look at this in greater detail in a subsequent tutorial. Let's cancel out for now. And this concludes our tutorial about using the Linear Pattern Tool.